Uh, right off the bat, the levels will be randomized, so we'll be starting off in something that's not Mushroom House, most likely. Uh, so yeah, we are starting off in one of the special zone levels. Uh, this one's not actually terribly easy to do. Of course, when you get the carrot to start, uh, it's a little bit easier. Uh, so to go ahead and uh, right off the bat, uh, answer a question from chat, what does Beast Mode do? Uh, Beast Mode uh, does a couple smaller things in that it uh, turns on, uh, it, it makes some songs uh, hurry up, basically what you would normally hear when you have less than 100 seconds. Uh, it also randomizes the boss health. So bosses may have more health than normal. Uh, the one thing it does uh, that the old randomizer did before version 2.0 is that it uh, introduces bias. So that, uh, you know, normally uh, you have a, uh, an equal chance of any possible enemy that you would normally have, but we make it so that there's a particular outcome is more likely than the others. So, you know, take piranha plants for instance. Normally a 50-50 chance of either a regular piranha plant or a fire piranha plant. But with bias, I think there's something like an 85% chance of fire piranha plants as opposed to normal. So, uh, this is not beast mode. Uh, so everything has an equal chance of occurring that would normally happen. Uh, beast mode is reserved for the last round of our seasons, so uh, you will see that in a couple weeks, though. Uh, so you see uh, both of our runners here losing the power-ups in that last level. Uh, we're entering our first level here that has two exits. This is normally Macro Zone 1. Uh, yeah, there's nothing different about these levels. They don't have, you know, we didn't change the levels at all. We've just changed the locations. Um, so, like, this level, for instance, has two exits. Uh, so it's been randomized with another level that has two exits. Uh, because, obviously, you have to still be able to access uh, secrets. Um, conveniently... Uh, to, in order to get to the second exit in this level, you do need a Fire Flower, and both the players were able to find that. Uh, both Odeo and Squirrel both uh, keeping up with each other very closely right now. So, yeah, I haven't really changed the layout of the levels uh, yet. Uh, there is some stuff maybe in the works. Uh, for those of you who may not be aware, uh, I, in Flash Infinity, I am the creator of this randomizer, so uh, I can definitely answer questions about it. Uh, so both players, since they had the Fire Flower, going ahead and electing to go up to the secret exit, which makes the most sense. When you have that uh, power up, you might as well go for it. Uh, it happens to be the correct exit. Uh, the, the two exits in each level are swapped. Um, one thing we are noticing here, both players electing to take uh, different paths here in Tree Zone. Uh, Squirrel, uh, while it is different uh, space physics, or, uh, moon physics, sorry. It is a much shorter level than uh, what Odir got, which is uh, Tree Zone 2. So, a uh, little bit convenient for Squirrels to get, uh, get ahead just a little bit. Uh, not going to replace the songs with uh, Ice Plug singing them. What you should do, however, is uh, get on Twitter and convince Ice Plug to come do commentary for us. Uh, so Squirrel's in the final level of Tree Zone, which is now Pumpkin Zone 4. Uh, this is, again, a feature that is new to version 2.0, in that uh, boss levels used to not be randomized in the old version. Uh, 2.0 was released a couple months ago. Uh, one thing you'll notice very shortly as well is that bosses are also randomized. Oh, and Squirrel falls into the pit, which means he has to go back and go back up. Waste a little bit of time. He's got to be careful where he jumps. Normally, when you run this in glitchless, you have a, a f ears. And he does it again. It's a lot of time. So, deer here jumps ahead of him now. Oh, yeah, third time. That's rough. That's all right. It's going to be a really close race here. 
So, coincidentally, we've got the bird. So, Bert here at the end of the level. It's the normal tree zone boss. Uh, Bert, easily defeated when you have Fireflyer, which both of the racers have. Uh, coins will be marked uh, according to the zones they have defeated. It's the easiest way to track uh, where players are on the overworld and where they still have to go on the overworld as well. Um, so, as players enter the hippo, you'll notice that if you're familiar with this game, uh, they've entered Pumpkin Zone 2. Sorry, Pumpkin Zone 3, which has two exits. Uh, squirrel getting swag money with the blocks. Um, this level does also have two exits. Um, you may not remember that the hippo level has two exits itself. Um, so deer, you see, going for some power-ups, it's because uh, the exit in this level is only attainable if you have the carrot. Unless, of course, you have different physics in this level, you know, in case they've been randomized. So, it looks like both of these runners are going to be forced to get the normal exit, since they don't have the ears. And unfortunately, that's not going to be the right exit. So, since they elected not to get the bonus bell at the end, uh, they're just going to go ahead. At least Deer is going to enter macro. Yeah, and so is Squirrel. They're going to do this because uh, they're just going to try to get a power up in this first level of macro zone, which is Pumpkin 2. Uh, if they can happen to get the ears, uh, the carrot here, then they can go back to Hippo. Alright, Squirrel doing a, an all level strat, which is to get the bell and then immediately die. Uh, if you get the secret exit. Alright, Squirrel looks like he's going to. Nope, take the bell and keep going. If you get the secret exit uh, and then go back into the level, you'll start at the midway and not have to traverse the beginning of the level. Alright, so this middle part here can be quite a challenge, especially when you've got the fireballs, but looks like it's not too bad today. Uh, no power up, no carrot so far. Oh, it looks like Deer finds one here, uh, just before the buildings. Uh, Squirrel elected not to look, and instead going for the secret exit down below. Getting hit there just before going down, however, not sure he's going to be able to make it through. It's going to be quite a challenge. You need to be able to have some sort of power-up by the time you get past this, because you have to break blocks. Alright, so Deer... Ah, uh, he's stuck. So it looks like Squirrel's gonna just go back and finish the level normally. Uh, Deer does have ears now. Uh, looks like he's gonna try to keep them and just finish Macro Zone. And... It being Turtle Zone 4 is a particularly difficult level to do. Keeping your power up. Alright, so Squirrel's going the same path now, although he does not have a power-up. Deer swimming through what looks like Velveeta cheese. Trying hard to keep his ears. Eh, not gonna be able to keep him. But he does get a Fire Flower, which should help him with whatever boss he finds at the end of here. Unless it's the witch. The witch is not who you want to necessarily have fire flower for. Ah. However, the octopus is. Squirrel finds some ears, though. So if you can keep those... Nope. You won't keep them. Alright, so deer does take down the octopus. Uh, Alright, so two power, uh, two coins so far for Deer. He continues on since he does not have the ears to go back to the hippo. Uh, squirrel now taking on the octopus, and it's down. 
All right, so deer is in the miscellaneous level, the one that's usually stuck on the edge of the map, it's just between the hippo and macro. So just stand at the front of this one. Oh, I lied. It looks like it, but it's not. This is Mushroom House with scrolling. It's even more boring. Alright, as we get through this level, if anyone has any questions about the randomizer, now is a good time to ask, because there is not much going on for the next minute as we get through this level. Uh, so some levels uh, can become scrolling, as you can tell, that normally aren't. Uh, this one, for instance, uh, not a whole lot happens. Uh, uh, as you can see in our chat, please follow the Twitter. You always see the schedule every day, uh, any new randomizer releases. We also have the marathon coming up next week. Uh, we've got the schedule there. Uh, speeding up scrolling is not something I've been able to find thus far. Um, yes, deer, uh, can mash like no one else. If you ever watch him stream, he'll brag about it. Uh, that's new. Squirrel took out one of the fire prana plants fireballs with the shell. Did not know you could actually do that. Alright, so both of these players are going to exit this level with ears, most likely, so we'll see if they elect to go back uh, to the hippo level. Um, the chance that the level becomes scrolling, by the way, uh, relatively low, because we don't want the whole randomizer to become slow like this. Uh, so after that level, uh, we enter one of the most fun levels in the randomizer, which is the submarine. Uh, so you see Deer immediately go to the left here, which is not the way to exit the level, but he's checking for a power-up. You really want to carry it. Uh, you really want the bunny ears in this level. Uh, going to the left as you go up the next part uh, is a way to the secret exit, uh, which we refer to as the gauntlet. Uh, there's so many enemies in that section. And, and it looks like Deer's going to go to the gauntlet here. Uh, Squirrel, by the way, is going back to the hippo now that he has ears. Uh, so, here in the gauntlet, there are several enemies in a very tight space. and becomes quite difficult sometimes. Uh, surprisingly, not bad today. Yeah, that is one of the easiest gauntlets I've seen in a while. That one was done with ease. And it was the correct exit, so one of the fastest submarines I've seen. And now we're on to the actual hippo. Uh, the only thing to keep an eye on here in Deer's screen is to see if he gets sniped by any fishes that, uh, the flying fish that, uh, don't belong at the top of the screen. And enjoy the star song. Uh, Squirrel here, gonna go ahead and take the secret exit that he needs to get into Space Zone. So... We're going to see a new zone that we haven't seen yet now. Deer avoiding the flying fish that don't belong up there. Alright, and Squirrel in Space Zone 1's vanilla location. Because this does have two different uh, exits as well. Uh, so we'll see which one he chooses to go to. Whether he goes up to the sky or just continues down low. And when I mentioned earlier that Deer has the small Mario world record, this is what I mean, as he just flies through Tree Zone 5 with ease as small Mario, which is not an easy task. Squirrel uh, keeping a lot of enemies on screen, and uh, that's a huge amount of lag. Oh, Deer losing his power up there towards the end. Squirrel taking a death, unfortunately. Oh, and Deer also taking a death. Quite unfortunate. Alright, so Squirrel looking for the invisible blocks to head up to the 
top secret exit. Deer grabbing the ears to go ahead and head back to check which boss here in Pumpkin Zone he's going to be facing. Uh, these Cloud and Owl platforms here in Tree Zone 5 have been randomized. It gets a little tricky if you don't have a uh, carrot to get through. Tatonga with normal physics, uh, a little bit trickier. Uh, you also get the reverse color palette sometimes on these bosses, which gets really interesting. Uh, the Tatonga fight is no easy feat sometimes. Alright, you see Squirrel going to a secret exit, electing he does not want to deal with it, so he soft resets. Uh, he's going to go back to find the normal, uh, just go to the normal exit here in Space Zone 1. Ah, he gets a Fire Flower here. That should make ending this exit, uh, level much easier. Deer's jumping a little too close to the edge of the screen. Alright, takes him down. And Squirrel entering the final level of Space Zone. Uh, so, Piggy's here in Space Zone for Squirrel, Deer going through all the Koopa Troopas. It's a very laggy level. And Squirrel takes out the pigs with no trouble. Benefit of having the Fire Flower. Yes, that little piggy became roast beef. <laughs> Deer making his way through Mario Zone, entering Turtle Zone Special, wanting to keep the ears, so uh, in order to actually keep them, nope, he decides not to. So, uh, normally you have either a mushroom or you're small to get through there. Um, otherwise, if you have the ears, you gotta uh, try to slide under there, which is a little difficult. Um, in terms of the coins on the screen, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're a little strange. Um, deer taking a death, uh, the uh, jumping there is a little interesting, you gotta make it over that Koopa. Alright, Squirrel electing to go to the normal exit in Submarine, which we already know is not gonna turn out very well. Um, so the coins, they always match up, uh, initially on screen to whatever zone you defeated. However... Uh, they end up fixing to whatever zone uh, you've defeated. So that's why I'm tracking zone, because that's, one, better for viewer experience. Also, it's the most accurate at the end. Um, however, they don't initially show that. All right, so Deer has a Fire Flower. It's going to make this level much more trivial to get through. Uh, he got stuck at the end as Small Mario, and when the power up at the end gets randomized to something that's not useful, like, say, a 1-Up or Money Bags, there's nothing you can do to get through it. So you need to enter this level with the proper power up. Uh, so Squirrel wrapping up Submarine. Unfortunately, not going to be the exit he wants. Uh, deer is in Turtle Zone 1, which is never a fun level to do without a carrot. Uh, no one likes actually swimming through levels. Yeah, the submarine is one of the longest levels. Like, it's, argue uh, it it's pretty close to... I think it's the third longest level. Uh, 
Space Zone 2, the Star Song, and uh, the Castle are the two longest levels. Uh, Deer trying to get a super jump to make it up there. Doesn't work. Uh, this Turtle Zone 1 at the very end... Alright, that star will help a little bit. But this very end here can be a, a tiny bit of a gauntlet, because they get some really tight spots, and if there's sharks in certain places, it's very difficult to go by. Alright, Squirrel electing to go ahead and finish the special zone or special exit because he has ears and he knows that'll help him with the gauntlet. Though we already know the gauntlet is actually pretty trivial this time around. Alright, Deer entering Space Zone 2, having just spoke about it. Squirrel trying to figure out how to get by, not losing these ears. So, really wants to get up there and get in. So, uh, when Mario has uh, the carrot and jumps into a one tile gap like so, uh, you can hold jump and down and slide right through and keep it. Um, you can only do that with the ears, though. Um, as a, as a heads up, uh, as we watch Deer just kind of float through Space Zone 2, uh, it's a very boring level. Um, that's the only reason I think that it has such a good song, by the way. It's, it's a very boring level. Alright, so he's through Pumpkin Zone 2, which was the submarine, and he's off to the hippo. Hopefully he'll take the correct exit here as well. Pumpkin Zone is, uh, in general, a very deciding factor in some of these races for, for very close runners, uh, simply because uh, it has two secret exits, and getting both of those right versus getting both of them wrong is a lot of time, especially if it's something like uh, the submarine there. Alright, Deer checking some of these blocks for some power-ups. Takes the carrots. Uh, we still haven't seen the witch yet, so... Uh, of course, with different physics, the witch uh, becomes a little bit different to fight against. Because uh, jumping off of those pots uh, a little bit tricky. Uh, it turns out that if you try to jump off any platforms when you have uh, physics that aren't normal physics, uh, it's not as easy. Anyways, Deer takes down the rat in three quick jumps, despite the change in physics. And Squirrel fighting Tatanga, but he's got a carrot going into it. Alright. So... One thing to notice is that uh, when you have to change in physics, you can actually... Uh-oh. Uh, you don't have to stand on the edge like you normally do. Uh, something I've picked, learned recently. Uh, Deer making his way all the way back to Hippo now that he's got his ears. Uh, Squirrel deciding to uh, just go for it and two jumps on one cycle there to take down Tatanga. Yeah, so one thing you can notice there, Squirrel got the Tree Zone coin in that animation, which he already had, and that's because he finished Tree Zone 5 as a level. But next time we see uh, that uh, the door animation, or the door cutscene, he'll actually have the Pumpkin Zone coin. So, uh, yeah, the, the cutscenes are a little strange. Uh, we did as much as we could in terms of just making it work. Uh, we tried a lot of different combinations to, to get the coins to go where we wanted them to go, so there was no overlapping or double coin getting, so that was our best solution. Uh, so at this point, both runners are where the other one has already been. Uh, we're going to hopefully get them entering Turtle Zone around the same time. Uh, Squirrel's got no secret exits to have to deal with. 
Uh, Deer's got to figure out which exit is correct here. And Deer's also got to deal with the overworld as well, despite having less le less levels to handle. Uh, and it does look like Deer is going to the top exit, which we know is not correct, so that will waste a little bit of time for him. So this should be a pretty close race hitting into Turtle Zone, uh, all things considering. Testing coin logic as in to make sure that the coins actually went where I wanted them to go, or you mean, uh, so like we tested, uh, so the first thing we did back in the version 1.0, like way back when, is just switch the levels to see what happened. And we played through, and uh, we ended up just getting two coins. You know, we got the coin for the boss we beat, and, oh, we got the, the uh, coin for whatever level it was, and the coin for what zone it was, and that wasn't good. Uh, and then with the help of Torres, the creator of Super Mario Land 2 DX, uh, we tried switching some more things, and like I just played through it a little bit. Uh, didn't have to play a whole lot to kind of actually see what happened. Like, once you defeat one or two bosses, you suddenly realize, okay, this doesn't work. And, you know, I speedrun the game, so it only takes like 5, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get through a boss or two. You don't have to randomize the whole game. You just need to randomize enough to, you know, switch the levels around. And I guess switch, after a while we were switching bosses around too to see what impact that had. It was very just narrowing down what we think was wrong. Uh, so Squirrel entering uh, Space Zone 2. Uh, Deer entering Space Zone 2 on the overworld, so they're both in their respective boss levels. So Deer's level will go much faster. He does have to traverse the overworld afterwards. Uh, Squirrel's level will take longer. However, he's got much less to move on the overworld. So, uh, like I said, hopefully we'll be entering Turtle Zone close to near the same time. Uh, I think the amount of time that Squirrel will take in this level probably outweighs how long Deer will take on the overworld, though. So Deer should be slightly ahead. Uh, we'll find out very shortly, though. Uh, I think that's what makes this game one of the more fun randomizers to really watch, though, is the non-linear uh, overworld. Of course, the piggy fight as Small Mario is no easy task. However, Deer, being the runner he is, shouldn't really have an issue. However, we saw uh, yesterday in our weekly race, any run can die anywhere. Deer was in first place going into the castle before dying three times. Anything can happen anywhere, so... Uh, however, Deer does handle the piggies with no problem whatsoever. Uh, with that, Deer does have five coins, and he'll make his way back around the map to get over to Turtle Zone. We'll see what lies in store for us there. Squirrel's entering his fight here just in a moment. And we're going to enter with Macro Special. Alright, Squirrel takes out the rat with a pseudo fireball kill with the physics. All right, uh, deer, just making his way through the auto scroller. This one's usually an auto scroller. Surprisingly, haven't seen this one turned off as an auto scroller in a while. Uh, it's much. It is very fun to play through when it's not an auto scroller. So these two runners are within a level of each other now. They should both be exiting the level with Fire Flower. 
Uh, it's going to be a fun ending. There is one secret exit, secret exit ahead of them. So, uh, it's kind of good. Uh, that's a big uh, roadblock that could change the outcome a lot. Uh, then we're going to have uh, the castle as well. Uh, I don't know the odds of an auto scroller offhand. Um, that's something I could check very easily at a later time. Feel free to tweet at me, I can let you know that. Um, yeah, I don't have the info just offhand. Uh, thank you, Game Boy, for the update. Looks like about 30 seconds for Deer. Um, getting the wrong exit on Tree Zone 2, however, is way more than 30 seconds. Uh, this, uh, I think second to Submarine is the slowest level to lose time on, uh, in terms of wrong exits. Alright, uh, Carrot is definitely what you want. It's the e easiest way to get to the secret exit. If you don't have the Carrot, uh, you have to jump off of an enemy to get to the secret exit. And even then, I think you need it to be a Cowfish. I'm not sure you can jump off of a Nokobama to get up there. So, oh, there's a Cowfish, so even if you don't have the Carrot, you can get there. Uh, so since Deer has the Carrot, he's going straight for the secret exit. And it's the correct exit. All right, so we'll see what Squirrel decides to do. Uh, so this is going to be uh, Mario 4 as the level. Uh, we have not seen the witch, so we know that's going to be the final level, our final boss for this. Uh, the witch, uh, we're going to see in three different... All right, thank you for the update. Uh, Beast, you, uh, you can jump off the bomb uh, Late Learner says you can also super jump up there. Appreciate that update. Uh, feel free to get in your guesses for the witches, uh, what three directions the players will have to face. I'm going to go with uh, left, left, right for deer. We'll see if deer goes for the fast strat here too, where he starts jumping immediately. He does. He gets the first hit. Oh, Beast has four directions, but remember, this is a normal seed, not a Beast mode seed. There's only three hits. And he got the left, right, left. Good call, Ross. Alright, with that, Deer is going to be heading off to the castle. Squirrel going with the safe strat just standing up there. So that's left, also right. Could we have two left, right, lefts? We do. Whoa. I promise that's RNG. All right, so you'll notice there are some uh, definite randomizations here in the castle. Uh, the size of the fireballs and the spike balls are randomized. Uh, yeah, it basically takes a death at this point, uh, especially the way squirrel plays or deer plays. Um, like there's there is little margin for air at this point, but this is still a close close race. And some very interesting castle music. Not sure what power up Squirrel was looking for. Uh, Carrot's a pretty nice one to have. Uh, you also see the platforms there in that room. Uh, and the next room coming up are our uh, mixed. Ooh, Squirrel barely hanging on there after taking a hit. Uh, the change in platforms can throw off some runners, especially in this room. We generally can just run along these platforms. So, yeah, deer making it through the the hardest part here. Um, I mean, barring a weird hitbox, you know, with the faces, he should be pretty safe. Uh, but again, stranger things have occurred. Right, squirrel making it past the first room of platforms. Ah, and a one-up for his trouble. 
another thing to note that's different in 2.0 is that the power-ups in the Wario fight have been randomized finally, so you're not guaranteed something that'll help you in here. And it's money bags. Wario's get-rich-quick scheme. It's paying off. Ah, uh, no, uh... No fast strat there. It's gotta go around him. Now, Squirrel's gotta be careful with his last phase. Alright. Deer on the last... Uh, phase now. And Deer... Defeats Wario with a time of 35-24. As Squirrel enters the fight now, not too far behind. Alright, in phase two now. Oh no! Tried to hit him up top, and he just from the side a little too much. So, take another run at this castle here. It's very convenient, though, that all those fireballs in the middle are very small. I will say, though, despite, you know, the very unfortunate phase two there at the very end for Squirrel, this was an extremely close race. You, you know, diverging in paths, coming together. see these change in platforms here uh, it makes this a little trickier where we normally jump you see a lot more uh, jumping where we usually just run across some of them and no trouble with those platforms so we'll run under the falling uh, spikes here, then we'll fight the faces once more. Ah, uh, sorry I don't sing songs, it's why I had Ice Plug on the couch. Uh, oh, faces get the best of them here on that one. Uh, and we're joined here by Oh Dear. Uh, oh. How was the seed? Uh, not too bad. Not too uh, difficult. Extremely easy gauntlet. I have to put that r right away. <laughs> that, was, that was way too easy on gauntlet. Slash please. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did mention that immediately. <laughs> that that was probably the easiest gauntlet I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I just swam. I think I stopped once and... Apart from that, it was very easy. Um, I think I got somewhat lucky with my exits. Didn't take uh, any no. wrong ones, like two or three. Yeah, they were pretty good. And yeah, the seat altogether wasn't the hardest one. Yeah, thirty-five twenty-four is a very good time. Yeah, I mean, it was unlucky that I, I. I Kind of uh, had to slow myself down, or, or I, I did slow myself down to. Actually, I, I wanted to try to go back to space zone as early as possible, but I never could keep my power ups. So, it took me a while, and then I had to go all the way from turtle zone 
or from Mario Zone to Space Zone back to Turtle Zone, uh, just because I had the carrot at that time and I needed that. Yeah, I think there was one zone. That, uh, there were certain times where you beat a level or two, and we were one. I was wondering if you were going to go back at that point. I think Squirrel yeah. had Squirrel went back earlier than you did. I could have gone back after Macro Zone One, but I took this. I, I got the secret exit, and I think if I had gotten if I if I had gone back, I would have had to play the level again and couldn't have gone to the secret level. I'm not sure. Yeah. I wasn't uh, sure at that point, so I, I just played the level. And I was sweet. hoping I would still have the power-up after the boss, but then I think it was the whale level in Macro Zone. I believe so. Or, yeah, and it was just a level where it was hard to keep the carrot. I tried, but that lost me more time, and then I just gave up on it and, and said, okay, if I have the carrot after a zone, I'm just gonna go back. Don't worry about it now. Yeah. Uh, Squirrel's having a little bit of issue in the uh, castle right now. He's hitting a couple of uh, the big uh, fireballs in the beginning or yeah. creeing off some of the platforms. I mean, I was lucky to, again, have the carrot there. So room one wasn't an issue. And the rest of the castle is usually smooth sailing, except for when you're a small Mario and have to fight uh, five faces and three Wario faces, that's always a bit exciting, at least. Yeah, mm -hmm. small Mario and having no power-ups in the fight itself is a little rough. Did you see my my Wario 2 entrance? I, I kind of messed it up. I entered at a 2 on the timer and still got the good pattern. So maybe I pre-triggered it by like, already going right for, for the money back or what I thought would be a power-up. I didn't notice what time you had moved the screen. I just noticed that uh, you definitely had the good pattern, and then rather because you can't just jump through him like you normally do, you went around him. Yeah, that's the normal backup. That's the backup you also use when, for some reason, you, I guess, get hit by Wario One, and um, are missing one power up. I just remember uh, watching you do. Uh, tree zone five when you were small mario mm -hmm. it's like this is why you have world record in that category <laughs> but I, I still died I still yeah died. at the very end <laughs> after you had a power up though yeah i lost my carrot there as well another one of those instances where i had the carrot i wanted i, I really wanted to keep it for after the boss to go back to space zone and i lost it both times immediately pretty much immediately but yeah the start of the level was good I mean, that's what you have to do in the small Mario category. So that's a like squirrels, memory. squirrels back to the faces now. Yeah, when you're small Mario on the faces, you have to if you want to get them quickly, you have to really time the jumps. Mm -hmm. Again, small Mario threats really helped me out there. All right, he's past the faces. So back to facing Wario again. All right, phase one down. Let's see if we can get back to phase two now. I don't think we... I think we were extremely close when we both entered the castle. Uh, yeah, we were roughly, I think, 20 to 30 seconds apart. Yeah. That really right, could so... have gone both ways. Yeah, I think I think though once you entered the castle, it really needed a death from you just because of how consistent you are. Uh, yeah, he's on phase three, and that's it. So Squirrel finishes with a time of forty-four fourteen. All right, so. Uh, it was a good. I mean, that was a great race. Uh, we had an unfortunate death there in phase two, but it was like thirty seconds apart leading up to that. Yeah. Uh, to unfortunate uh, deaths there in the castle at the end. But, I mean, that was a, a really close race. It was really cool to see the the routes diverge for a while and then meet back up 
being really close to one another. It was, you guys both took the, the correct exit in Turtle Zone as well. Yeah, it's also one of those late instances where it can just, just switch around in an instant. All right, well, thank you very much, dear. Thank you. And good luck on your race tomorrow. That is correct. Uh, tomorrow there are two races for the league. Uh, if you click that league link that was just put in chat, uh, my race tomorrow versus Beats Frisian is at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And at 3 o'clock we have Lori DeBunnikin's first late learner. So... Uh, there are two races tomorrow. That'll conclude round one. And then our next uh, set of races for round two will start at the end of next week. Uh, again, please feel free to follow these runners. Uh, my name is Slash Infinity. Our restreamer is Wolfman2000. Wolfman and uh, there's Pokemon, I believe, happening on Randomania 2. Or is that tonight? No, there's Pokemon tonight on Randomania. I tweeted the schedule, I should know this. So, uh, feel free to try this out. Uh, tweet at me if you get upset at the game. I'm okay with that. I made it mean sometimes. It happens. Uh, enjoy your Saturday, everyone. See you all tomorrow.